Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the At the Shot Corner Season 8. I didn't look at the. We'll be in the title. Okay. Uh, Obviously, because it's every title. My phone's over there, too, so. I am Ola Bourbon Fink, and this is. El Vagabundo. El Vagabundo. The man of the badges. This is. Shameful. Okay. Right. Uh, and then this is also the oh. train, the hump master. Stops. The hump master. <laughs> He'll be here eventually. <laughs> but, uh, the hump master. Way to Today, the uh, he's humping his way over here. Yeah. Today we're going to uh, be reviewing Raw, SmackDown, NXT TakeOver predictions, and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, hump master, can you please lead off the bottom notes? Raw has. <laughs> On November the 13th. <laughs> as he's stuck, as he's taking out everything in his pan. Look <laughs> at that fucking table. <laughs> Look at the stands. Those falling over. <laughs> what? What did Rob happen? Oh, November the 13th. Just now. 2017. <laughs> our current team consists of toughest chat. Oh, whoa. Consisted of. Yeah, you can, you can see him slowly coming in the background. Michael <laughs> <laughs> Cole and Booker yeah, T. That was a workout. Did you need to take a, do a little bit of a breather? No. <sighs> I'm glad to mention the hump train also your uh, show. The show opened with a Shane McMahon promo. Wait, what? <laughs> it doesn't say that. Shane McMahon came out of Okay, good, because I, I wanted to make sure that I gave it a little bit. She literally took Kurt's balls and did this with them. Yeah. Beep, beep. Again. She made a little, she made a little salad out of them. Again. She topped her salad off with She's them. She's upsetting them. She's pretty yeah. much... You know what doesn't make any sense to me? Boom, down. No, what doesn't make any sense is that she's like so concerned with law losers. What happens... Nothing's going to happen if they lose. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, the, that, nothing's gonna happen if Wall loses. Nothing's gonna happen. This will have Wall. Well, they will have something over her on the Thanksgiving day. <laughs> and uh, Seth McMahon wasn't happy that she put Jason Jordan on the team. So Seth oh, McMahon, at least we know, at least we know who Seth McMahon And then as she was about to fire Kurt Angle, but legendary stables under the original Shield team. And Roman Reigns, uh. Yeah, it does because it's the original shield. I like not the Olympic it's the, shield. It's not the shield, it's the original shield. Yeah. It's not, like not they, the Olympic they, shield. No, they didn't have any of the members in the group. Those were honorary members. Yeah. They weren't officially a member of the shield. So why the fuck is they, are they called the original shield? It's not like they had four other members in the group. It was just only three. Was Tommy Dreamer in it? ECW original shield? What is, uh, hey, hey, James said it broken, well, one thing I want to say is, uh, if it, it worked. I, well, it did work for me. Everyone, Roman Reigns is finally cheered again. Up until the Royal Rumble this year, next year. Yeah. And they challenged, yeah. the new day, they challenged the New Day to a match at Survivor Series. Watch them boot the entire show because Which is awesome. awesome. That match is going to be fucking Get awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. Ricky Let's James. not do it. But then the segment is above the end of the movie. I don't think yeah. Awkward cutting. What? What? Nikki James, Dana Brooke, Bailey, and his triple friends and her sister. Uh, this was good, except for the parts where Dana Brooke No, it wasn't. Was it, was it wasn't. Good. It was terrible. Obviously, you have Mickey James, you got Dana Brooke, and you got Bailey. Who's winning? Yeah. Exactly. But, did you get rid of Mickey James, actually? No, that's how it was I think Mickey James is going to do nothing now. That's oh. so upsetting. You live as pot. Ask her fucking kick his Dana Brooke's head off. Yeah. How many times in one week do we have Dana Brooke flipping from heel to baby face? Yeah. She oh. does it every week. I think she flipped in this match. She does, she does it every week. She's a big show. You know what I, I think she had to beat Big Show's record. You know what I just like, do it for three months. You know what I you know what I didn't like though is uh Asuka being all friends with the wall women. That's just dumb. Well it's kind of like with their they're like yeah, yeah, my friendly, friendly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They just made Asuka look like every other woman though. Not really, we can beat the shit out of Dana Brooke. Yeah. It's not like every little nut. She's not like most girls, though. Dana Brooke! Sasha Banks just happened to be the So. If you went in almost like had a lesbian sexy. Oh, oh, is John's own making an appearance or not? That's people. Who? Who's John's own? Oh, Sasha Banks. Oh, 
I have no idea who that is. Amore Gulak Kalisto and Desa. I like that. Uh, uh, apparently, they're both tag teams now. Apparently, because I was tag team in the police now. Yeah, the former team. And, uh, fucking Gazo Gamore. I actually like, uh, the true champion of NX, of Two of Five Live. I love when Enzo Moy did like his catchphrase. He says, How you doing? And Gulag like, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Drew Gulag. Drew Gulag very soon will be one of the most over baby faces in the company. I feel, I feel like the just by interrupting Enzo. I feel like the way that Enzo puts it. You know, it's there. there. It, it's just, it's great because it's like two polar opposites. Like, yeah. one guy's uberly polite and the other guy's a fucking ignorant piece of shit. Yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a really funny dynamic. The match the sucks. sucks. Yeah. Enzo won by hitting the Giordanzo on the... Giordanzo! Yeah. The team are backstage. Kurt Angle signs them to a match. Should I call it... Roman says he wants call it. Wants Sketcher, the Sketcher Buster, if it's since I have Sketchers on. And Not I'm you. Sure. Roman wants Kane. He wanted Kane. Can I call Whoa. 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 Can I call Whoa. 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 Ha 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 no, Footwear a, squad! Those are the doll, doll things. It might be with a like, mentally retarded and members of the group. Oh, yeah. Jay, the Miz TV Especially Mikey! 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 With the bot. That's up to date for that match. Mikey! Jason Jordan and Kurt Angle backstage. Jason Jordan wanted to prove himself. No, that, that was a part of the whole, you know, thing. Where they were all backstage together. So no, no, I said earlier. And then he got put in a match for a while. Yeah, and Finn Balor's more joke about putting Balor, but yeah, it wasn't easy. Brock, Brock Lesnar comes out. Oh, this is great. Paul Heyman cutting a promo on AJ Styles and a guy in the crowd, a newlywed couple. A, a, a guy proposed to his his fiance. She said yes in the crowd. Everyone chanting. She said yes. Paul Heyman then proceeded to roast the two. Yeah. Which is hysterical. Don't interrupt my promos at all. But, like, the thing is, too, like, with Paul, Paul Heyman's great, but, like, it's starting to become, like, repetitive. Like, his promos now, they're awesome, but, like, it's starting to get, like, yeah. repetitive. Yeah. And then that fan calls him. It's like, everything he says is the same. Let me bring you why you should be watching Survivor's Week. Let me tell us we should buy the show. Yeah. yeah. So doing, that's a little bit of the part of it. He is the greatest lobbyist in WWE history. The first half of this program gets you to buy shit. The reigning, defending, undisputed, universal champion, Rock, Rock, Lesnar. Cock, Cock, Basically saying, Rock, The reason why you should buy this is because you'll never see this match because of Cocky Lesnar. You might not actually never see Cocky Lesnar. Cocky Brocky. The Miz! I think it's the Rock type gimmick. Yes. Cocky Brocky. Cocky Brocky. <laughs> the Miz, the bar, with Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. Someone's suddenly losing a night. What's going on over here? He's deflated. You sure you can't? Tom. <laughs> Versus La Shield. La Shield? The original. Um, the original Shield, guys. Good match. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, like yeah, I'm the, uh, <laughs> you're pretty, you're pretty erect over there. <laughs> Stop. I'm six ten. Um, you can stand in. You can have this chat. It was a good match. Honestly, like yeah, even with Roman included in the match, it's so awesome. Like this feud between Cesaro and Jameis and Seth and Dean is like. Next one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they consistently go out there and put on, and, and put on great match of the great match of the great match. The, 
The yeah, no bad match. Better. What better do you think would be a dud was when fucking Cesaro put his fucking teeth jammed yeah. up into his face. And it wasn't. But it wasn't. It was a highlight. That was a highlight. The match, they made the match even better. Yeah, but it made it more real. You would think that because it would have stopped it and like, oh. But no, he kept going. Because, like, like, because he, he, gets, he gets punched one time and his face is just like covered yeah, in blood. blood. It was just awesome. Everywhere. Like that. Everywhere. Oh, and just a visual. <laughs> You fucked up. What did he do? He forgot to put his George versus Bray Wyatt. <laughs> oh, I guess it was really, really memorable. It wasn't. Because <laughs> I know that this George got hurt. This George got hurt. That's the story. And then gets paid for his trouble. Yeah. And, 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 to Jason Jordan, a bye, who then promptly got his face slammed into the mat. Yeah, <laughs> and kicked up, kicked up the team. Oh, yeah, he won. The man who won himself. Yeah, he can win. Well, we're not going to be getting taken out. Anyway. You know, it's not Jason. You know, Jason Jordan and Kurt Angle's twenty-nine-year-old son <laughs> can't even get his spot on the Raw. No, he can't even be one of the one of the Raw five. You know, the funny thing is, twenty-nine like years that. old. How old Jason is Jason Jordan? He's like, legit twenty-nine. How old is uh, Angle? 47. 47. Yeah, I think that was like 17, 18. That, 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 that can look that way. They said, they said their whole thing was like, he oh, had it when he was in college. There goes my theory on it being sure no, like a rocket. 1988, he was born in 88. He has still stairs around. That's probably the water. No, Jason Jordan was born in 1988. Kurt Angle was in college in 1988. That's kind of quickly. Like, he was with it in, in college in 1988. So, because he was, I, he was like 27 in the 96 Olympics. I guess there goes my theory of Charmel. The what? Well, if he if he would have been Charmel, it was just that. No, I think it was a theory. That's 12 years ago. Oh, no, no, that's a joke. I'm just saying. Yeah, Kurt Angle's 12 year old son, Jason Jordan. Yeah. It is a joke. I'm just saying. It's not a theory. It is a theory. You're saying it would be 11 because my theory is. Turned out to be. He would have, actually, no, he would have been 12. He would have been 12 years old. 12. 2005. Do we have any fucking talk about the best quote we've ever had in school? This facial expression that made him yeah. comedic. Okay, so what do you guys think of the bar and Miz versus Pop? Oh, oh, no, it's, like, it's great. It's like you can like, it's you give it. any segment to the upper town. I just realized that. No, no, because we haven't done it. Oh, well, the first one's down. We can all agree. Down. 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 Oh, it gets yeah. it, it gets like a middle point after me because he finally, for the first time since July, or ever, called him Dad. Yeah. Don't do this to me. Dad. Dad. And then, Not Kurt. Dad. That is your father. But then, called him Dad. But then he called him Kurt. Like, Not oh, Kurt. Kurt. Daddy, dude. And then the, the one time yeah. this segment has been going on since July. Yeah. 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 Daddy, Jason. Yeah. Uh, it's you, Kurt. Then, and then no, Jordan no. versus uh, Dad. You, Kurt. Then the Jordan it. versus Wyatt match gets a thumb to the middle. The middle. Because, uh... And the show Jordan that Jordan wanted to be on the yeah. team, and it sets up the... Uh, the match itself was a dud. It's a down. down. But, uh, it set up like a store live yeah. middle, and so later on the night... So that's a thumb to the middle. Where, um... Jason Jordan is being taken out. Brooke and Brooke's, uh, reaction... Up, up. up. Uh, Miz and Barr versus the Shield. Uh, came back saying I'm not doing it by down. Uh, yeah. uh, well, actually, uh, I'm giving up because it's like it's Kane looking strong. Yeah, like it's it's definitely not. Hey guys, guess what? That's all you need to fucking do. Not gonna be squashed. Then maybe it seemed like he's just unstoppable. He didn't squash him down. You didn't know that. Yep. Yeah, and I'm fucking I'm Andy and Ambrose. Andy and Ambrose. Yeah, and I, I, I looked good in a fucking leotard. You did like fucking cash or someone out. Hey, you you just you oh, said you, you, made it, James. you said Big Valley didn't get squashed. Oh no, he got squashed. But you said but yeah, you but said you saw that. that was Colin that said he got he didn't get squashed. But you said it wasn't but you said no, you said it too. Yeah, you can get video into that. 
Uh, well, that was probably before I saw the match. I know I saw the match. What the fuck? Kurt Angle promo, Kurt Angle, uh, call it in Jordan. This, yeah. <coughs> no, this is a doubt. He, he, Kurt came out to basically replace Jason Jordan. Jason comes up and says, Dad, don't do this to me. Kurt. And, um, um, so Stephanie comes up first and says, you know, demands him to do it. So he's about to do it. No, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about yes, it. Well, about to yeah. say it. And then uh, Jason Jordan comes out and then pleading with Kurt, not dead, Kurt, yeah. Yeah. Um, to not do this. He wants to team up with them. It's the first time ever, you know, all this crap. And he makes a word, the, the, the stupidest crying face as possible. No tears coming from this man's eyes. And, um, he's a real man don't cry. And it's an emotional segment. I mean, Kurt was crying, he wasn't. Real man don't cry. And, um, out comes Triple H and says that, uh, he's taking, out, he's taking over, getting Jordan's spot. He t- he's, he's, like, talking to her, he's like, that's your son, and whatnot, whatever the fuck he said, he's pretty sure he said, that's your son. Yeah, he did. And he kicks Jordan in the gut, head agrees in the middle of the ring, to kind of so actually shocking surprise. That one of his biggest rivals would actually do that to his own son. Yeah. Yep. So now I'm giving this whole segment a down. I'm giving this a up. Reason being, this one segment alone makes the Fire Series so fucking unpredictable. I don't know what's gonna happen. I give it a middle. I don't know what's gonna happen now. But yeah. at the same time, you're one of your biggest rivals pedigreed your son, and you're Yeah. I would have beat his fucking ass right there. Mm. Like, I, I, I would have hit him right with an angle slam. Right He's probably thinking about his job. I, guess I wouldn't have given him a fuck. I would have given the fucking fuck in the hands saving, of my son. They're saving it for Spyro Series. Guarantee it. I would have given him There's no <laughs> You're gonna save point. Spyro Series. There's no point in Edge coming back. There isn't. There isn't. Okay, is this could have been a prime setup of Jason Jordan to screw over his dad, cost him a job. Yeah. Yeah, Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> and then go into a few go into WrestleMania. I think what it is gonna happen. I mean going that could have been, been an option. option. If, they they were, if they were in a different state, Jason Jordan would not have been fucking treated the way he was. So it kind of he was yeah. going to believe they were saying no 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 hey hey goodbye to him. Uh, no sympathy whatsoever for Jason Jordan. I kinda feel bad for him. I really do because he's super talented. Yeah. He's one of like he yeah, could be the one of the brightest stars in the company. This was a kiss with that. This whole story of kiss with that. No, no, no. You could have made it. I'll tell you I'll tell you right now. I mean he was getting over a little bit too. Here's what I mean. After his match with Roman and Cena, and then they like did nothing. Did nothing with it. The momentum that he had with the two great matches with Roman and Cena. I think what they're gonna set up for, it. right? And just just call me I don't think that's easy. But I think what they're going to do with this is going to set up a match between Jordan and, and Triple H, which would be Jordan's last babyface match. And then when he loses... It's just going to be Angle. Angle. angle and, like, he loses in a very stark, like, I would have more performance. Like, I would have Jason Jordan leave it all out of the ring. I know. Well, Matt, and, Matt, Matt, and, Kurt, and Kurt tries, and tries to... Um, well, yeah. You can either do it either way. And then Kurt <laughs> raises his hand. And win. Kurt, Kurt guy, Angle raises his hand, <laughs> points to him, and then Jordan just turns off. I would just have him turn this virus because this this is the prime opportunity. Because if Angle loses, he loses his job. This is your prime opportunity to do so. Now, 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 now there's an obvious setup to Triple H versus Angle. Yeah. Yeah, and you have a, you already have a motivation. You don't need to like you picked me off the team. You already he already has the motivation. He had it the fans. No, no, it's Screw you! You weren't there for me. It was fuck you. And but and the fans himself, he, 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 he could say that these the fans like as a team. Well, he, he, in fairness, he could actually do that now because weren't there for me when I needed you the most, including on Raw. And just like you weren't for many many years before that, I, and, you, and you put yourself before your son again. I hate you. I want nothing to do with you anymore. All that matters nope. is me. You know who best in my sort of this entire pr- promotion. No one can even touch me. If anyone yes. wants to step up, they will. Nobody and I'll lay them out. I'll, out I'll this whole like, at the end of the story that like, yeah, he's not his actual son. That's he's what he's like. He's your son. My next son. My next son. He's Vince's son. Oh, Vince's Vince would hate it too because. 
Yeah. Just enjoy it. Is good? Keep or it up. Or good. Good. They can have. <laughs> they can have their ancestry thing over. They want it with the bit with the bits of the stem. And then there's a, no, no, it just goes. It just is like, he looks at, he looks at Jason Jordan, he's like, get that really good out there, son. Well, Jason, Keep it up. Oh, there's, no way, there's no reason. There's no reason. And Booker T is just like in the background. Tell me man, he didn't just no, say that. Um, I think this match is decent. Uh, I oh, that's actually match. a really good match. I love how uh, Balor and Joe, like, when I, the match started, they, like, well, they, the like, they don't hate each other yeah. right, all of a sudden now. And it shows them in on um, uh, the next night too, and everyone doesn't hate each other anymore. Uh huh. So everyone just just walks out like thumbs up. Acknowledge I'm fine with this. Thumbs up. Great match. I heard uh, different. I heard different. Yeah, when I first saw you back, you were hating. Yeah, because you you said they were originally squashed, and then I looked at the match. I'm like, no, I, I didn't say they were squashed. Well, you I, said they, I said they, you said they, Joe came out and killed people. So yeah, well, like, that's what Joe does. That's not your gods. I think Joe's literally what it was. So, fine. Uh, good match. Who the fuck, by the way, who the fuck was going to be able to beat Joe and Val? They fucking went like a tangent on Bob. Alexa, Liss, and your team. Not just that, yeah, but also. I just got what it was. They also were the inaugural Dusty Rose yeah, Tag Team Classic Champs. Braun Strowman and Kane, the first ever <laughs> Monster vs. Machine match. Little Kane Yeah, except uh, it didn't happen because he got a foot yeah. in the ring. They brawled around ringside. Um, they go underneath the lane. They go, we're on at the end, power slams to the table, thumbs up. No, it's the lane. Table ring, what the fuck it is called. Well, and you know, it's it's the table, that's how like, the show goes off the end, too. You just don't even see him, like. Do you know how, like, when they, they showed the ring? Yeah. There was no wood there at all? Yeah. Well, so, like, there's nothing there. So it's not like, oh, you look at the ring. I'm like, he literally power slammed through a piece of canvas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was nothing underneath it. Yeah. You mean. What else is new? Day. Not what else is old. Uh, I'm saying old. Shut up. I like that. I like that Lava made Strowman be the monster. Yeah, it did. I think Kane's gonna cause Strowman to get eliminated too in Survivor Series. Fine. I don't care. I like it. I like the feud already. So it's not. I don't. I, I think this is gonna lead to like a last man standing match. It's not even gonna be a PPV, by the way, guys. It's, like, it's gonna be on Raw. Probably like that. That's a Melter set. Oh, and Melter said that like it's they're not even gonna get a deal. It's not a credible site. It's not a credible site. It's not a credible. Hey, hey. Okay. Oh. Plus <laughs> one. We're more than the loss of Dave Melter's credibility. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so SmackDown just happened. Um, yeah. 11, 14, 17. We wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> We've been doing this for like an hour. We did the other show too. Yeah. We didn't really care about that one either. Um, I think it's best we move that show to Wednesdays. After, after everything happens. Come on! What happened on uh, Graves, Tom Phillips, and five Roman, Zach Stone, Byron Saxton. It's going to be interesting to see what Paul Boy made is going to be on Sunday. Whose side he's going to be on. He was, he was like, I mean, he was on Raw's side. He was, he was on Raw's side, but so was Byron Saxton. So what? I'll get to uh, yeah. that point afterwards when I want to get to it. So SmackDown begins with a really clunky beginning. Yep. Where Shane's like in a random room, like hyping. It's not even like a his office even, or yeah. anything. Or ringside. It was right. like in the most randomest like part of the arena. Mm. This looked like something you would see in high school. Yeah, like it was like a high school pep talk. Yeah. All right, like, all right, team, we're gonna go, we're gonna beat Raw. Any thoughts? You know what I love? And then, like, and then, and then RD grabs the mic yeah. and like had a microphone. I will make the news. I forgot my lines. And uh the new day like start crapping on the field, which is funny. I mean it's yeah. a new day. Like the highlight of this entire thing. Oh, and like makes it very important with with, 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 a, with a generic statement. But anyways, the thumbs down was horrible. It was like they couldn't they couldn't have picked that clunkiest beginning to the show. You know what I loved about the segment though? Kevin Owens the same thing, just standing around backstage, not even fucking <laughs> fucking love them. It's so fun. <laughs> but they just Huh? Don't mind us. Primo was there too. Was it was that there too? Um, no, it was pretty well. Oh, interesting. His cousin couldn't be there. Yeah. He's busy. He's busy, right? He's busy with so, Maybe he's busy with Rosa Mendes again. 
Uh, Daniel Bryan returns. He comes out. Cuts, yeah. a, cuts a, you know, a promo awesome on promo. SmackDown. I'm like, a, SmackDown's going to win whatever. I forget what he said. But then, bring out AJ and cut a Paul Heyman as promo, which I thought was better than Paul Heyman's promo. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Yeah, uh, cool. Because he was skating different facts. I'm like, I mean, I love Paul Heyman's promos, but like, it's cut and paste. About ninety percent of the time. And uh, he comes out and basically just just absolutely destroys Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Says he doesn't have stamina. Yeah. He can't go against AJ. Um, but yeah, AJ, yeah. AJ, if you bring Brock into deeper waters, Brock will, will drown. All these like crazy fucking things he was saying about Brock, which is awesome. And it was absolutely awesome. awesome. And uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Bro. Thumbs up. That was and a thumbs up. Uh, and I was like, wait, wait, this, wait, Brian, this Brian, 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 Brian yeah. I, you know I can talk. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm not the whole thing like Brock, Brock, Brock Lesnar is. He said this is this is the house that AJ Styles built, and then the awkward at the end of the yeah. end of it. But uh, still, thumbs up. Like it's this this should have opened the yeah. show. By the way, so uh, not the awkward stand in your cafeteria yeah. style. Fucking uh, okay, high school, school, school Give me an S. Give me an S. Give me a C. I thought that was good. Give me a C. I thought that was good. Give me an S. 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 He's gonna brutally beat him. I don't even remember what he wanted, but okay. It's probably like weird. It was like that was in between Zion and Give me an E, and I was coming home. What's that spell? Leave. That's probably like it. I missed it. Leave. So leave. I'm wondering if he's gonna win back the belt just because uh, Eddie and Jordan do as well. I think he just keep it though. Yeah. I think because I told it was it was kind of funny like. Vince's perception of AJ a thousand percent changed. Yeah, he loves AJ. Now he like he thinks he, he thinks the world of AJ now, and like this is well, just like the validation. Well, I also like, get in the WWE Championship back. Well, I also question because uh, the Indian people had the. I don't think he cares about the Indian tour anymore. Honestly, he had to cancel one of his shows. Yeah. That's, that shows you how much he cares about the Indian tour. Well, that shows you that Jimmy didn't work as champ- champion. It and shows you know why. Big letters. Why give him H E E L. Heel! Guess what Indian people don't like? Heels! Yeah. No, I said that. There's like not to, mention, not to mention you can't think that the fucking Indian people don't have Wi-Fi and can't search up that he's fucking Canadian. So they're probably like offended that they are trying to make this guy not even from Indian descent. Even though he has Indian heritage, yeah. he's he mostly is Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, he's he's you know what Indian the, uh, descent. You know what they they the, uh, I think his his grandparents are from India. Or his parents too, I think. But like, either way, he's Canadian. You know what pisses me off? They took one. So they give Judy the belt. They hot shot it. Yep. And then they just have to lose the belt two weeks before the Indian Tour. But they could have just built him up. Yeah. For this, for the Indian Tour. Or, or here's a no. I, I here's said a, here's a new idea. idea. It needed to have here's a new idea. How about before you build them up? What are we trying to face? So get the Indian on, the Indian audience. Why not build them up and have them win the belt in the Indian? It wouldn't yeah. matter either way. You know, either way, would you guys? No one wanted to see it. Would you have him pissed off? If you have no judge, Jinder won the title in the Indian tour without any of this pre. I just when you put it like that, and they don't know from April till now. Uh, what the time? Okay, I still have any issues with him, but as far as on as a challenger, probably not. Probably not. So Terrible let's say so though. keep it as it is, he wins the he becomes number one contender, but doesn't get a title shot until the Indian tour. Yeah, yeah they I build him up uh, as this legitimate competitor. Yeah, instead of, way instead of having him win the battle royal and being hot shot on the title. Have, have him win the um, Andre Giant World Battle Royal. He yeah, have him not lose eighty percent of the match before he can't before he becomes Don't have him lose in the show the that the wrong. smackdown that we went to, the superstar shake up. Jinder was treated as a joke. Yeah. He was yeah, he's he was outsmarted by Rob Gronkowski. Well, I don't know if anyone here has seen Rob Gronkowski, but he's not one I call smart. No, well, they, they, they don't throw those sight attacks anyway. They throw them on like the drop of them. Yeah, exactly. Um, so anyways, Aaron Corbin versus Sin I thought this match was decent. It's a decent US championship match. I mean, 
Yeah. Sin Cara looked good. Don't know I mean, I'm Cara. liking it. I'm liking what the new is Sin Cara. I mean, he's 40 years old, but he's still pressed. He's still good. He's supposed to go back to this now. Let's be honest. I mean, he just signed a new contract extension. Max versus hair. If he loses that Max versus hair match, I'm going to be fucking furious. What? Because they just signed a three year extension. Sin Cara. I mean, you want to go. Okay. No. Have Baron Corbin. What was the point of Bill? The week, like, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, just have I was Corbin saying, I'm pissed. Yeah. I'm pissed that they did this entire thing and then had him lose the Mask vs. Hair match. Yeah. No, 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 no. Sin Cara. No, no, no. no, no, no. I'm no, no, no. exactly like, I'd be pissed if, like, yeah. Sin Cara lost the Mask vs. Hair match. They just re signed him and they're trying to rebuild up Sin Cara again. Yeah. And then he just fucking loses the Mask. <laughs> I want What's know. the point of that? No, no, in this case, Corbin loses his hair because his hair is like at a current angle level of, you know. Bad. Bad. Yeah. And I was, uh, it's from Struggle City. Yeah. So now this is the I want long hair, but I can't have long hair. This is the off about this though, is now we have to see Corbin versus Fizzle. Next. I'm okay with it. Because and as you know, I'm Team Miz. But the match was soft. And I literally fucking hate the Miz. That actually probably could be a contender for worst match in the year. I don't think it's gonna be bad. Was it gonna be a brawl any of this? Uh, Daniel Bryan in the backstage. He said he's going to have a conversation with Shane after the Oh, yeah, this is, series. They're throwing hints out there that Daniel Bryan could be going as a, uh, could be a heel coming, coming out of the post Survivor Series. It won't work. Yeah. It won't work, but it could at the same time. Nah, it won't work. It won't work. People still cheer. People still cheer, but then at the same time, you can just turn on the audience and look like. Wait, who are we talking about? Daniel Bryan. He's going to bring up Ring of Honor. Yeah, but he can't do it. It's he's too much of a like a face for like. You know what I? You know what I think this is? You know what I think this is? It's a way for Shane. It's a way for him to come back into the ring. I think oh, I they're, they're, they're testing the waters here. But no one's gonna boo. No one's gonna boo. Is testing the waters? Yeah, no one's gonna boo. He boom. might actually come back to WWE. In fact, I think the people are just so damn. Sick he said that he didn't. He wouldn't want to wrestle the schedule he did before, which is like three to thirty days, or however many it was. I think it was like two sixty. Uh, 260 but he said he wouldn't do that again. But he said he'd be open to wrestling. Yeah, that's fine. But like, he's not gonna get booed. I mean, if especially if it's come back. Yeah, not even just that. If he turns on Shane McMahon, he has every right to. And not just that, people are sick of the damn fans anyway. So naturally, yeah, they're gonna cheer. It's like yeah, the fans are gonna cheer. Why? Why are they doing what this, this with Brian when Shane's the dick? Like, yeah. Exactly, he's the dick. He's the fucking asshole. Daniel Look, Bryan is a Oh, this is for a family squabble, by the way. I just want to point that out. Brian, 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 Brian's standing up for his brand. That yeah. Shane's trying to tarnish. <laughs> also, what a dick. But also, like I said, it will be Daniel Bryan's comeback match. No one's gonna, nobody's going to boo that. No. I don't know. Next, next, Chris. Women's Championship match. Charlotte Flair versus Natalia. This is good. Yep. This I like the power bomb into the post that. Uh, Charlotte did. No, Natty did. Natty, Rollin. This match was way better than that match. A thousand yeah. times better. Yeah. Um, and Charlotte is your new women's champion. Going into going into uh, Survivor Series. It's now Charlotte versus Natalia. Charlotte was not Natalia versus Alexa Bliss. Yeah, and it seems to have branded non title match. Is it, I can check the card for Survivor Series. Is it yeah, it's with the Natty Switch. 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 Yeah. They keep it, they're keeping it as a surprise. Yeah, so Natalia is going to be in there. It depends. I'm like, they're keeping. They say they want to keep it as a surprise. If it's a Natty, it'd be kind of a disappointment. It'd be kind of a disappointment as Natty. But what if it's not? What if it's like some random person? Yes. Little <laughs> more than beats Oscar and Pop or uh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. <laughs> What's Harvey saying? Hey, Dana, fantasy. Check the Sage Beckett. Actually, it was mine. Sage Beckett. Jack Gable versus Jimmy Lee. No one cares. I don't care. I actually, uh, I'm going to be honest, I didn't even pay attention. I was writing my uh, notes for this match. I didn't even pay attention. Jack Gable versus Jimmy Lee. Um, so, so, I gave one Benjamin Hills now? I don't know. They're both heels. <laughs> it's it's Jennifer Gable and Benjamin are acting like heels. I think uh, the Usos are face. Yeah, I mean, and I only say this because um, because they they did that whole thing with the new day. But yeah, I gotta say this: the Usos cut the best promo of their career, but I don't, I didn't see it because I fast forwarded it. So uh, the Usos cut the best promo of their career, John. 
I uh, I like this match. Um, I love the Usos. As all of you know, I fucking am a massive Usos fan. I always will be. Um, good team. Good. Both, both these teams are good. They're both. It's like it's a new, fresh thing. Yep. Also, too, for as uh, Brian Zane calls them, benchables. Um, it's it's something different. It's not the Usos versus the New Day. So I like it. Thumbs up. We're getting that again eventually. Um, Harper and Rowan vignette where they basically say they did it. Not really, but the vignette sets it. Oh, it's next uh, week. It's next week that they're coming back. Um, I thought they dropped this gimmick. They've already dropped the gimmick already at the live events. But not like, I think they're going to be still called the Bludger Brothers, but I just don't think they're going to have all those weird fucking yeah, matching right. attires or anything. Gonna, the Hammer Brothers. The Bludger Brothers. Like basically. It's going to be like the normal sales, but like. Oh, 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 uh, it's great. Uh, it's the same as Kevin Beck. They're, they're upset that they're, they're not going to get the Survivor Series card. Reunite the Wyatt family already. Can't do it. Ray Wyatt's on Raw. By the way, it, can't do it. it's going to happen. Ray Wyatt's on Raw. For now. Alright, what's... Now. Okay, what's the final segment? I'll be drafted to smack that again. Kevin Owens and Sammy Zane versus Big E and Xavier Woods. Go be cakes and everything. How about that down, my friends? Um, they kind of do. I thought that this was this match was good. I thought that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn entrance was the probably the best things on the show because Kevin because uh, Sami Zayn is that smarmy fucking douchebag heel. You know what I kind of like to about the Kevin Owens? Like, completely oblivious of everything around him is yeah. fucking hysterical. Like you're you not know, like about the Kevin Owens like Sami Zayn like the, when he dances out to the ring. It seems like like. I can't take him seriously. I also like how, like, it seems like Kevin Owens is, like, manipulating Sami Zayn, in a way. Because that backstage, like, he was pissed that he wasn't at the Survivor Series, and Kevin Owens was trying to get him to, like, be pissed at Shane about it. And so. Well, he did technically say Kevin Owens. No, it seems like Kevin Owens is, so. like, Kevin Owens is, like, manipulated Sami Zayn, in a way. I mean, it, I mean, it's some of it's Sami Zayn's own It's deal. literally going to happen. They're going to match wrestling. I, I think it's I think it's almost guaranteed at this point. Yeah. And this time Sammy Zayn was coming out Kevin Owens. He'll yeah, pop a bomb on the eight quid. He'll steal Kevin Owens' and move set. Yeah, a blue fucking um blue set bomb on the apron. Uh he made the new day kind of bomb on the shield. Yeah. I didn't like the jokes they made about the dogs, though. It was dumb. It was stupid. It's a I'm trying to like make fun of Roman Reigns. Okay, fine. But um and near the end of the match, um, the shield, shield come out to an absolute thunderous ovation. And Charlotte. Thunderous. Where the fuck was this ovation? And, uh, ovation for them a night ago. They came out on Raw know. to like 15% cheers. Yeah. And the rest of the crowd was doing nothing. Because it was the so third hour of Raw. Raw. It was the first hour of Raw. And the opening segment. It was the opening segment. And they came out to a thunderous yeah, ovation, and they, they go down to the ring, they circle, and they go up, and they start, and Kevin on the same scene leave. What's that love? Being I even like the same scene, like, did this or whatever. Yeah. Like, and they leave. They weren't even a part of the role at all. And, uh, you know what it was? It was probably they, they start no, the the wrong. Shield. And then, this is what I like. The Usos come out, they look at Roman. And they don't fight each other. Kind of like that. Like the family mentality there. I love that. And uh, so they, they look, they, they go off and they, I don't think they, they, they hit each other at all. I don't think they punch each other at all. And, um, we can't move you anyways. Uh, and then Shazam and Sheamus come out. Oh, wait, and then. Uh, and then the rest of the roster come out. They, they start. The raw roster comes from everywhere. Starts pouring into the arena. They start beating the shit out of the SmackDown team. Out comes Kurt Angle with his team, the and they just get the shit beat out of them. The Raw would beat the shit out of the SmackDown. Run, the Raw would just dominate the SmackDown women. I think Alexa, Alexa Bliss like hit. Charlotte. I don't even know what she did. What the fuck did she hit her with? I don't know. She completely missed her. Whatever she hit her with. Yeah. And um, they just dominate SmackDown. Uh, she, she, that, there was one point where. Um, the Shield had 
shame. Like, look, look what you did. Yeah. Look what you did on either side of the of the ring, like to where uh, Braun was and where Cesaro and Sheamus were and, and whatnot. Like, look what you did to your roster. Like, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Like, showing him the carnage that he caused by doing, by invading Raw. And you know what? And by the way, they attacked actual superstars on the roster. Yep. Not jobbers. Mm. And you know what I also love too? That there's one person that led to them becoming dominant. Because they finally started to dominate once once Roman came out. And then it was kind of like even, and then Kurt comes up with Braun, and then his own entrance, and he comes up and fucking kills everyone. Yeah. And uh, there was one point on the outside where uh, Braun had one of the Usos underneath his arm, he was swinging him around like yeah. that. So I was laughing. It looked like it looked like a a father with his child on the outside. <laughs> just swinging him around. <laughs> and to say to you, like, look at what you did, Shane. <laughs> and uh, they hit two triple power bombs on Shane. I like that they call and it, then an angle slam. I like that it's finally the triple power bomb. I, just, I feel like they should have done the triple power bomb, the angle slam, bronze power slam. I thought that that's what they were gonna do. But then Braun was like, pick him up, do it again! And they did it. They also did Braun's throne. Yeah. So, we got nice Braun's throne. Braun and Strong are nice! And so they go the second. Fourth, fourth member of the Shield is no longer the original Shield. And, uh, <laughs> I thought, this is how you do an attack. Yeah. This is how you do it. Smackdown was horrible. Smackdown was horrible. I like Smackdown. I mean, Smackdown set up this whole thing, but it's like, they beat up Finn Balor. Okay? Like, that's the only credible talent. And, and besides, and besides Dean and Seth. Those and three, the women. They, they pick up, like, nobody else. Like, Gallows Anderson. Yeah. Matt Hardy. What did he do? One of the five. One, one, one of the five. They're doing so much right now. Wow. Yeah, Jason Jordan. Like, Braun did a better attack, too. Like, Braun did the better attack. They, they were in the ring. Yeah. They were in the big match. For under stage part two. I kind of wish that's, that's what Titus Titus actually said that. Like they had they had Shin up and uh, Titus like <laughs> under siege, under siege. Yeah, I thought every part of that was done correctly. All right, time for the predictions. Yeah, let's get yeah, out. So I'm reading. So like, what do you guys think, bro? Uh, Good. Because, I mean, good. It's, it's Mac that was awesome. All jobs, all but shows did their job. They got me hyped for Survivor Series. I cannot yeah. wait. Get Owen's phone. Get my phone. I don't remember who's in the Okay. I. Oh, yeah, oh shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Knock over my water. Oh, shit. Here comes the fucking fat Morris. <laughs> Slurping <laughs> around on the fucking table. Ladies and gentlemen. Just go. Ah. Uh, hey, hey, hey. hey. I need to get it up myself. Okay, guys, I'm closing it. Yeah. Not opening it. Fancy Takeover War Games. So, basically, this match, we're going to determine which two of these guys are going to go to Clash Champions to win the championship. If John, uh, if I retain on Sunday. If I don't retain on Sunday, uh, say like it's one of the two guys that could be in Clash Champions. It was one on one match between those two. If, if the top person becomes the third in this wins, then we'll have a choice. Yeah. Oh god. Here we go. Because this Sunday is the last chance. A oh, last chance to take the belt off, John. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, you'll, you'll be like Oscar with that chance. Cassius Ono versus Lars Sullivan. Lars. Cassius. Buzz. Alistair Black versus the Valveteen Dream. Alistair Black. Black. Alistair Black. Drew McIntyre versus Andreas Seamus. Oh, oh, no. Andreas Helmus. Oh, Drew McIntyre. Drew. And remove Kari Sane, Nikki Cross, and Paige Royce for the. Kari Sane. And remove Kari Sane. Or Kari Sane. Pain was strong. Sanity. Are they here there for me? Um, I'm just doing that. Tough, tough one. Really tough. I'm just doing there. Um, that's up to me. I think it's gonna end with Roger Strong joining in and being the and ending the uh, I think Oscars of pain and heartache. Um, only sh- only short. I'll always short. 
I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. That was tough. I wanted to pick out authors of pain and Roger Sanchez. I'm gonna say undisputed error. No, no, no. Because it wouldn't make any sense if you chose him. Wouldn't now. Because he already because he because he already lost that chance. Yeah. He threw the armband. Yeah. So I'm gonna say undisputed error. Yeah. 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 Yeah.